Hello and welcome. Today we are in the new tier 11 American light cruiser, the Jacksonville. I made a video recently about her going over all the details of the ship. If you haven't seen it, it should be linked somewhere on the screen right now. But all you really need to know is that she is a super Worcester. So we're gonna find ourselves a nice comfy island like this one. There's only one like it and it's mine. We're basically gonna sit here and just keep shelling with our absurd damage per minute. And we have a combat instructions ability, which after we hit, we hit a bunch of ships for a while, we can activate it to improve our HE penetration to 42 millimeters. Are those planes? <laughs> well, uh, I don't think Louisiana you want to come close to my ship with those. It's not going to work out very well for you. Well, Thunder is a nice ship to farm. Now, the Jacksonville can pretty comfortably hit battleships at this range, so this kind of farm is pretty much perfect for her. In fact, I suspect the Thunder is going to start running very quickly. Because look, she's taking 4k, 4k, like 3k. She's taking a lot of damage per salvo. Although I'm surprised we haven't caught a fire yet. We've hit, what, 70, 80 shells now? Oh, and uh, we already got to activate the ability really early this time. Oh, we finally got a fire on the Thundra. Nice. Sadly, we're a little too close to the enemy now. Or I suppose they are too close to us. So we need to go a little forward and try to arc over the island a little bit. But hey, even if some guns only can fire, that's still good enough, because we'll still output a decent amount of damage. And of course, our safety is provided by this big, strong island in front of us. It's uh, three and a half minutes into the game. We're at 70k damage. <laughs> I suspect that the red team is going to leave somewhat soon. Sadly, though, looking at the minimap, the same thing happened to the green team. Because, I mean, look, the only ships here are the Kearsarge, and even the Schlieven is leaving. Everyone else is basically on the other side of the map. I mean, technically the Marceau is on our side of the map, but only technically. So it really comes down to us to hold the line, and that's what we're gonna do. Is that a Yoshino that's heading over here? That would be very nice. Of course, the stationary aircraft carrier is a better target. <laughs> Until the jo Yoshino gets close enough. Oh, I got shot at. Um, that's not good. Wait, I'm... Oh, I'm being hydro. I thought I was being radar for a second. Okay, we can absolutely be punished over these islands by some of the battleships that are really far away. Hmm. I wonder what that Sherman's gonna do. I mean, she can just... Oh, double fire. Nice. She can just sit there and keep hydroing me, but at the same time, she isn't really doing anything, right? Like, there's only two ships on my team here, and we are st we still haven't let them get the A-cap. Wait, Sherman pushed out? Um, I'm gonna go forward. I wanna sink the Sherman. Sure, she has 28,000 HP, but I think we can do that. Well, once we can actually go over some of these islands. Come on, something has to go over, right? Oh, hello, Louisiana. Are you really bringing your planes here? I don't think that's very healthy for your planes, buddy. Okay, we got the... Uh, we hit the Sherman... Oh, engine broken, too. So she definitely used damage control party now, right? No, she doesn't. Okay, interesting. Maybe she doesn't have it available anymore. Okay, we got a reverse though. Yoshino can absolutely punish us otherwise. Look at these nice salvos. Oh, and we got the second fire on the Sherman. The on fire. Oh, she's down to 288 HP. I think, yeah, <laughs> goodbye Sherman. <laughs> All you had to do, buddy, was sit behind the island, not in front of it. And now we get to fight the Yoshino. Now, I do make a mistake here. I activate my ability, the gimmick, to improve my HE penetration. 
And I'm not really sure that this actually has any value. I don't think Yoshino has anything that is above 30 millimeter armor plate, but like below 43 millimeters. Although I can't remember quite accurately. But I think it's probably a mistake. <laughs> Yoshina definitely regrets picking this fight. Look at this HP. It's just evaporating. Oh, another fire. Nice. Let's just blind sh fire. Maybe we'll hit. Sadly, our uh, Kier Sarge is gone. So <laughs> we're the only ship left. Um, Team, help. Please, help. In fact, nobody is even in the middle of the map. They're all on the eastern side. I'm literally the only ship here. This, uh, this isn't gonna end well, is it? Oh, no. I mean, we've already had a pretty good game, so it is what it is. Oh, no. The main. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna ram the main. The main is gonna come around the island and we're gonna just slam into her, okay? That's what's gonna happen. Or, or actually, no, no, we're, we're, we're gonna ram the Louisiana, right? Since we're not gonna do that much damage to the main. But Louisiana, we might be able to... Wait a second. Oh, no, we missed the main. And we're gonna miss the Louisiana. There's no way we can ram her. She's gonna just get out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is terrible. Now, I do make a mistake in retrospect here. I should have gunned it for the Thundera next, but unfortunately I I just got too uh, tunnel visioned on shooting this guy. But I mean, look, we're doing so much damage. This, this would be the moment all the uh, anti-air guns also go ham, but unfortunately we do sink here. The three battleships were a little overwhelming, but maybe I could have rammed the Thundera. I should have tried. I really should have tried. On the bright side though, this is pretty much a guaranteed win. Right, look, we've lost four ships. They've lost seven. They are completely out of position. But hey, at least they're playing like a fleet, right? Look, look. Maine, Louisiana, Thundra. They're all sticking together and stuff. Which, you know what? Is gonna make it easier to torp them. <laughs> Their Petra Pavlovsk is trying, but I don't think even a Petra can do that much work. And yeah, she does sink after a while. And look at this. Look at those torpedoes. Hello, Maine. Hello, Thundra. Hello, Louisiana. It's fancy seeing all of you so bunched up. <laughs> Although, let's be fair, the Maine is going to tank most of it, right? She's, she's sacrificing her ship to protect the Louisiana. You guys are lucky that those weren't Benham Torps. Well, yet. Because those Benham Torps are coming. And they're coming fast. Are you gonna be okay, Thundra? Because those look nasty. Oh, Thundra just got hit. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's gonna work out for you, buddy. Mmm, wall of torpedoes. Oh yeah, goodbye, Thundra. No more thundering for you. And the Pryson has shown up. <laughs> Louisiana and Maine are both low, so... Goodbye. <laughs> Man, teamwork really does make the dream work, doesn't it? I think holding the line was absolutely fine. We wasted so much of those battleships time that our team managed to just win the rest of the game. Of course, the Commissar was the last alive, right? After all, if you, if anybody else wants to retreat, well, somebody's gonna shoot them. But even the Commissar falls eventually. 222,201 damage. We're missing 21 damage. 2352 base XP. Honestly, I think the Commissar played well, though. Like, that's his ship's strength. And I'm gonna give these battleships some good manners compliments. Because they did play like a team. And lost like a team because of it. <laughs> the Petra and Commissar really tried, but it just didn't work out. Wait, 
We did 77k to the Louisiana, 53k to the Thunderer. Well, I, I guess I understand why they all came after me. I was really annoying to them. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.